Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot with Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video we are going to definitely look at gold and silver. We are going to start looking from a smaller time frame that is 15 minute chart so we can actually spot on the immediate smaller time frame trading setups and then we'll also zoom out to see what's the larger swings that we are expected to see in gold and silver. Some of, you uh, some of the content is you have already seen but most of the content is going to be new stay with me please we'll start from s uh, the 15 minute chart on silver and then we'll zoom out and then we'll go back to or we can actually discuss silver small time frame gold small time frame and then zoom out so in front of us you uh, is the is a silver chart on a 15 minute chart and what's the ex next thing that I'm expecting in silver? We have seen a beautiful drop in the price of silver. What I'm expecting next is that we are going to continue this top, uh, the drop from this top right over here. So this is my expectation in silver. And then after that, we are to see, uh, I would say it's advisable to take profits because on a smaller time frame. And this is a 15 minute chart I'm talking about. I'm not talking about daily chart. Right now, the way I'm looking at things, if you're wondering, I'm considering this as a uh, important swing, and we have a correction, and we have, I'm expecting that we are going to see another swing like that. So you guys can actually see that we are kind of seeing a pattern uh, like this one right over here. Let me bring that back here. So you expected to see something like this right over here. And then I'm expecting that we are to see a deeper price movement. Okay. <coughs> and once again, then further down. Now, what's. Uh, let me bring that back so we can actually see what's expected. Okay. So we're going to discuss this move when this happens. But I'm the major important thing that I'm expecting on a smaller time frame on a 15 minute chart that I'm expecting that this is still a correction. All right. However, you want to map this uh, out using Elliott wave analysis. But I'm considering this is still a correction, either starting from over here or any other way. And I'm expecting for prices to drop quite a bit right over here around 2235, 30, 33, 35 area for silver and then bounce back up. Let's have a look, a quick look on gold and see what's happening on a smaller time frame, and then we'll also discuss uh, the larger time frame on um, them as well. So right now I'm expecting that we are to see uh, some sort of behavior like this. Okay, I'm expecting that gold is going to come drop uh, somewhere around right over here as well in this region. So I'm expecting gold to drop too and then bounce back. Okay, so that's why the whole reason I brought this is because. Uh, we are still in the earlier stages of the reversal, the bearish reversal that we've been expecting and that means if we are in early stages of it, we are going to see deeper corrections. So there's a quite a possibility if you don't see a deeper correction, uh, it could be time consuming but I'm expecting that on a 15 minute chart, that will be from the top, from bottom right over here, that will be almost like a 50, 55 dollar uh, move right from the top and after that we are to expect some sort of correction right over here. This is what's happening on a 15 minute chart uh, to help you out take advantages of a 15 minute uh, time frame if you are interested. Uh, I would advise to go on a daily time frame chart and see what's happening on a daily time frame chart. Before we go on discuss daily time frame chart on gold, we would dis love to discuss silver. And uh, silver is right over here. And this chart is astonishing. Uh, the blue circles are only made to help you understand what are the important data points that we are looking at it. It's a simple pattern, it's a, a lower lows and lower highs pattern. It is the most bearish pattern uh, that we get in technical analysis. I'm not talking about Elliott wave analysis, I'm talking about traditional technical analysis. So the most uh, bearish pattern that we can see is lower lows and lower highs. For example, this is the high we have seen a low right over here. So, as compared to this high, we have seen a lower high, and then when prices came down, we have seen a lower low. So, a lower high and a lower low and a lower high as well. Uh, we can now leave them or delete them. It's up to you. Uh, the what's happening on a smaller time frame though that I'm expecting that we have on on a daily time frame, not on a smaller time frame. Using Elliott wave analysis, I'm considering this is a five wave structure right over here. 
and starting from this bottom we are considering this as wave A, a wave B and a wave C right over here either wave B ended right over here or over here but we are expecting that this is C ended right over here in larger we have seen a 5 wave structure drop down followed by a 3 wave structure and now we are expecting another 5 wave structure move downward I'm expecting for silver to drop somewhere around this lower uh, in, in range right over here a lot of people are not going to like it but this is what, how things are looking right now let me adjust the, the chart so we can actually see what's happening on a smaller time frame, uh, on a daily time frame so as you guys can see that this trend line is very important we are seeing support or resistance for the up mood right around over here and when prices got jumping off we are finding that this support is very important as well so once prices have come out we are like of the initial stages we are expecting for prices to drop sharply downward but this is what's hap expected to see on a um, on a daily time frame let me see if we can actually give an approximation of what we expected to see so I'm expect I'm ex somewhat uh, this is a rough estimation of it of the path that we're expected to see in silver this is what I'm expecting in silver okay but all of that happens in the five wave structures we are use Elliott wave analysis on a smaller time frame and on larger time frame this is expected on a daily time frame the easiest and the safest bet would be to simply enter into the trade keep your stop loss right over here just above just two three points above 2450 and wait for the prices to drop and every time a pullback happens on a daily time frame you can join the trend you can pyramide the thing as well 15 minute charts are even beautiful and they are really rewarding in terms of uh, profit to loss ratio but they're also very very volatile they're extremely volatile and it's not advisable to straight 15 minute chart but I have already given you analysis on a 15 minute chart if you insist so let's have a look on what's I expected to see in gold and how the labeling is looking out we are considering that we have seen a five wave structure right over here and uh, this one is wave one and two three and four and five wave structure and we have a a b and a c structure we have c as a five wave structure and we have ending diagonals or not if you don't want to discuss see that it's a five wave structure in ABC uh, I mean in wave C we have seen a five wave structure and right now we are very very close to the reversal and I would now say that after a drop of almost forty five dollars actually fifty dollar that there is a good possibility that we have seen the top in gold as well let's have a look and come uh, we can actually make it a four hourly chart and we can increase the uh, size so we can actually don't need to now this trend channel that's in front of you you guys are seeing probably that I'm insisting it yeah it's not ideal but that's how it is the lower end points right now prices dropped through it and right now we are kind of retesting that area I'm expecting that the prices are coming to come down further in this region there's a possibility we can actually hit this region right over here which is 1887 and a bounce back is expected this is happening on four hourly chart on a daily chart though let's have a look what's happening on the daily chart and once again we are expecting a sharper down a correction another wave 3 down right over here even further down uh, and we are expecting for the prices to either land in this area or go a little further no sorry not 1369 let me have a look it's not 1369 not that deep it is 3069 I just didn't remember the the exact number. So 1450 or 1379. This structure that you're seeing, the lower end of the structure is very important, which is that falls at 1450, and the upper end of this structure is also important, 1369. Both are our targets, and in case prices penetrate through it, we'll discuss more. So starting from that top, we're expecting wave one and two, wave three and wave four and wave five either over here or over here we are expecting a 535 five structure right over here I hope that I was able to provide some help especially 15 minute chart analysis was new for you guys wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye